All right, Shalom. All praise are going on. It goes to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rukaku Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is Peace's I want coming with another um, lesson. Uh, I just want to uh, spotlight this uh, particular article, um, uh, which is going into this new movie that's that's to be released soon. Uh, another biblical movie. Um, you know, every two to three years, uh, Hollywood here in America likes to, you know, push out uh, these um, um, major um, Bible movies or biblical movies um, pertaining to the scriptures. And, of course, you know, they always, uh, you know, put their spin on the, you know, the characters and the story more so adding, um, you know, more so adding in the likenesses of themselves, which, you know, we all know goes back to uh, so-called white supremacy. And they put these uh, Edomite-looking characters into the roles of uh, Bible characters. Um, and, you know, this is something that um, I looked at, you know, because whenever there's a Bible movie that comes out, pretty much from the apostles on down here at Great Millstone, we always highlight a video on it or put it out there um, for for the Akim and Akwaf to, uh, you know, check out or look into. Um, so I saw this article, uh, you know, yesterday, and I said, you know, I'll, um, I'll do something on it, you know, when the spirit hits me. And, um, <clears throat> you know, um, and... So I'm going to go into it. Uh, this is from uh, ScreenRant.com, which is, I believe is the source. Uh, so it's headline, Mary Magdalene starring Joaquin Phoenix as Jesus, or we know him as uh, Yahweh Shai. His true name is Yahweh Shai, but the world ignorantly calls him Jesus. All right, it says, finally gets release date. Okay, so now they're pushing out a movie uh, uh, based off of Mary Magdalene. Now this is just another Queen of Heaven worship type of movie uh, it's probably obviously going to go into some as, as you can see here you know the image here which you have here on the left Joaquin Phoenix I'm not sure who the uh, actress is on the right but you know they got this particular image portraying like there's some kind of romantic thing going on between Howard Shy and Mary Madeline and uh, um, according to the scriptures from what we read there wasn't anything like that going on all right, um, <clears throat> but Yahweh Shai did um, forgive Mary Magdalene of her sins, okay? And she was a follower of Yahweh Shai along with his mother and the rest of uh, the 12 disciples and other disciples as well. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to read into what this movie is about. It says, the biblical drama Mary Magdalene will finally have a wide release this April. The uh, Weinstein Company was initially supposed to distribute the film. However, the Harvey Weinstein scandal complicated the release schedule. Right? We all know this guy Harvey Weinstein was accused of, you know, uh, uh, sexual assault with these different women. Which, you know, that's Hollywood, you know. And then, you know, they targeted him. And they're also targeting major Israelite or so-called black men in Hollywood as well. You know, which is... but beside the point but this thing with Hollywood you know coming out that these people are being exposed for you know um, whatever wickedness they're doing okay um, so the, so basically that scandal uh, is what uh, uh, it didn't cause it's what caused this 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 uh, film company not to uh, release this movie so it says, now, IFC Films has acquired Mary Magdalene. Directed by Garth Davis, uh, by Garth Davis, Mary Magdalene stars Joaquin Phoenix as, Yah as, uh, as Yahweh Shai, or as it says here, Jesus Christ, and Rooney Mara as the title character. <coughs> it says, in the canonical Gospels, Mary Magdalene is referenced more then Yahweh Shai's Apostles, which I would have to check that out. Brothers can check that out. Um, 
you know how we do here at GMS. You know, we check everything out, saying that she's referenced more, as if that gives her more of a, 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 a authority or reverence over the uh, apostles and the disciples, which it doesn't, okay? The order of a man and a woman is clearly laid out in um, the uh, New Testament as the man being over the woman, all right? Anyway, so it says, uh, Mary, uh, Mary Magdalene is referenced more than Yahweh Shai's apostles, and the Pharaoh chronicles her unique relationship with the founder of Christianity, which Yahweh Shai didn't found Christianity. That's a false statement, all right? Yahweh Shai uh, was sent, was born and sent forth to restore the nation of Israel, so called black spend the Native Americans, to uh, repent and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. We were in recalls God, which is uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, all right, uh, to to reconcile our relationship and our covenant back to the Heavenly Father um, so we can be his people and rule over the universe, okay, the planet Earth and the rest of the universe, uh, all right, especially over uh, the so-called white race and these other nations. Um, so it says, as she allegedly witnessed his crucifixion, burial and resurrection which you know she was around that did happen so it so it says production began in october 2016 and the film was originally scheduled for a november 27 2017 release and then pushed to march 2018 after the new york times and the new yorker published their weinstein 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 exposés in october 2017 <coughs> so like him it says Mary Magdalene was shelved once again, and the producers ultimately searched for a new distributor. Um, <clears throat> now, um, um, now let me say this: you know, I'm I'm doing a a video <laughs> on this article, um, as I usually do, you know, videos on articles and things that I find out there in the news, um, and. Uh, you know, if brothers want to check this movie out, but this isn't really just, it's not, I'm going to do this video, but it's not just about the movie Mary Magdalene. I want to highlight this point. And, and as you can see here, as, as I'm scrolling down, we all know this actor, this famous actor here, um, from an, in a, an, in numerous about amount of movies in the last five to 10 years. Um, <clears throat> this is what I, this is what I want to highlight. And, um, that the so-called white man Esau Edom, his true nationality, knows the truth. And he can't hide the truth. He can't, you know, he tries to push the Hebrew Israelite doctrine as far as what we have, which is the true doctrine of the Bible. He tries to push that out like we're a bunch of liars and crazy men. <clears throat> but nevertheless, they're constantly putting black characters, so-called black characters, Israelite characters into their movies. Okay. Uh, it was another movie that that recently came out um, where they had um, another black character play um, one of Yahweh Shai's apostles. So now this new movie coming out, Mary Magdalene, is doing the same thing. All right, Esau knows the truth. The white man knows the truth. He can't deny it. He cannot deny that the true people of Israel are black. And not just they're black as is you know as far as dark skin, but they're the people that are called African Americans here in America. Whether you be from the West Indies or or, or, or um, you know whatever, or America, all right, the so-called black people, all right, and, and he goes West Indians, Haitians, all right. They are the, the true Jews that were living in Jerusalem at this time. And also the so-called Hispanics, Native American Indians, Seminole Indians from South America, Central America, Mexico, and even here in North America. They're also Israelites from the other ten tribes that were removed uh, by the Assyrian kingdom in uh, 722 B.C. Okay? Um, what, what we Israelites are saying in the streets is true. Okay? <clears throat> so I'm, so this is the main point I want to highlight. All right, it says for Mary Magdalene, uh, I don't forgive me, I'm not familiar with uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know how to pronounce his brother's name, but uh, uh, Chawitil Ajiofor, 
uh, has a starring role alongside Phoenix and Mara. All right. Um, <clears throat> so it says here the 41 year old British Nigerian actor. Right, he's from Nigeria, so that's why his name is uh, <laughs> that. So lucky if I, you know, um, say it wrong. Uh, it says the 41 year old British Nigerian actor will portray Peter, one of Yahweh Shai's 12 apostles. Which, when, which really, honestly, all of them should be. Everybody in, in this movie outside of the Romans, all right, now depending on who they want to portray, uh, should be uh, so-called black or African-American, all right, or even, you know, Native American or Hispanic actors, okay, um, because the, the true Israelites are so-called black men, all right, and black women, <coughs> all right. It says, um, Edgy of Four wrote, directed, and starred in the 2019 Netflix film, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, which I've seen that on Netflix. I didn't get to watch it, but I've seen it out, uh, put out there. It said, and, and, and he will soon be featured in both The Lion King and Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um. So, so as you can see here, he this man constantly puts black characters in into his movies, even in um, <coughs> which is on Netflix now as well. But uh, the History Channel put out a Bible series, maybe about three or four years ago, um, maybe about two or three years ago, on the History Channel, and they had one of the angels black and other I believe one uh, I believe uh, Samson was black, in that series and then other movies. Uh, you had Color of the Cross that came out in the 90s, um, um, which per portrayed uh, Jesus or, or uh, uh, his true name, Howard Shai, as being uh, which is, is a, a so-called black man. So Esau knows the truth, man. Okay? But I'm going to read this here. <coughs> it says, aside from Phoenix, Mara, and Ejiofor, Mary Magdalene doesn't necessarily have a high-profile supporting cast. Which is why this movie hasn't really been hyped up so much because it comes out next month is because, you know, it portrays Peter as a black man. Which here it is in, in the mainstream media, they're pushing out the Hebrew Israelites as such bad people saying, oh, we're not the Israelites. But why do they keep putting so-called black men in these different roles, man? Because they're lying. So-called white man is a liar. All right? He's the devil because the word devil in his origin means... Uh, deceiver, he's deceiving you. He's making us look bad, but at the same time, he's pushing out the truth. You know, so who's really right here? And and this is what you people out here, you know, you Israelites, all, all you people, all you nation, got to ask yourselves, man. You know what's really going on? All right. So it says, um, but that's a good thing. Is biblical drama should emphasize the story rather than the star power, which is true. Uh, director Davis previously worked with Mara for 2016's Lion, so hopefully Mary Magdalene will feel natural and organic. Um, it's not as natural as, as organic as it should be, but like I said, Esau knows the truth. He's pushing out the vibration, the true natural organic spirit that Peter was a so-called black man. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, uh, this guy here, uh, uh, Chawatel, Edgy 4 Will you know do his you know do the do the role some justice? Um, so it says perhaps it all depends on Phoenix's performance is none is none other than the Almighty One. Um, <clears throat> um, which they really should, like I said, really Edge of Four should be playing Yahweh Shai and other black men as well, and and black women should be portrayed in this movie. But that's what I wanted to you know pinpoint you know this movie Mary Madeline is coming out um it's been put on the back burner really probably because of you know they had the actor here um the so-called black actor playing this uh movie role alongside you know the scandal um but now they're pushing out there but you know really because the Lord Yahweh Shah was shy wants to push pushed out there um if the spirit hits me I'll go see it you know, um, and yeah, you know, you saw, he, you know, he knows the truth. So I'm going to push out this scripture, uh, which is another article here. 
but let me get this scripture here. This is Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art, wise, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. And that's talking about the so-called white man. The secrets of the scriptures cannot be hidden. He knows who the true Israelites are. All right. And I'm going to get one more scripture. Um, I believe it's 1 Maccabees 3 and 48. Yep. This is 1 Maccabees 3 and 48. And then this is going into the scriptures. It says, uh, And lay open the book of the law, wherein the heathen, starting with Esau, the so-called white man, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So this is why you see um, these actors here being portrayed by so-called white people. But the truth, like I said, they know the secrets of the book, that Israel is so-called black. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave with one more scripture. I'm going to leave off with one more scripture. And this is a, 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 a scripture we all should know. Jeremiah 14 and 2. It says, Judah mourneth and the gates thereof language. Judah is, is uh, all the tribe of Judah. They are black unto the ground and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Meaning the state that we have here in America is going up to the Heavenly Father. So now he's bringing the truth out because we are a, a black people. Uh... Just like the earth is 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 uh black or really you know so called dark skin you know really deep brown, you know deep dark brown to a uh, a light brown, all right. And there are Israelites scattered in all nations, looking like all nations, but for the most part, uh, Judah uh looks like this, all right. Um, now I hope this video was edifying. Um, that I'm gonna say shalom. And Esau knows the truth.